Revelation chapter 6 And I saw when the Lamb opened one of the seven seals, and I heard one of the four living creatures saying as with a voice of thunder, Be thou coming! And I saw, and behold, a white horse, and he that sat thereon had a bow, and there was given to him a crown, and he came forth conquering, also so that he might conquer. And when he opened the second seal, I heard a second living creature say, Be thou coming! And another came forth, a fiery red horse, and to him that sat thereon it was given to take peace from the earth, and that they should slay one another, and there was given to him a great sword. And when he opened the third seal, I heard the third living creature saying, Be thou coming! And I saw... And behold, a black horse, and he that sat thereon had a balance in his hand. And I heard, as it were, a voice in the midst of the four living creatures, saying, A coinix of wheat for a denarius, and three coinixes of barley for a denarius, and the oil and the wine hurt thou not. And when he opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth living creature saying, Be thou coming! And I saw, and behold, a pale horse, and he that sat upon him, his name was the Death, and the Harders Shaol followed with him. And there was given to them authority over the fourth part of the earth, to kill with the sword, and with famine, and with death, and by the wild beasts of the earth. And when he opened the fifth seal, I saw underneath the altar the souls of them that had been slain for the word of the God, and for the testimony which they were having. And they cried with a great voice, saying, How long, O Master, the holy and true, dost thou not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the earth? And there was given to them to each one a white robe, and it was said to them that they should rest yet for a little time, until they be fulfilled even their fellow servants, even their brothers, the ones being about to be being killed, as also they were. And I saw when he opened the sixth seal, and there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sackcloth of hair, and the whole moon became as blood, And the stars of the sky fell to the earth, as a fig tree casteth her unripe figs, when she is shaken of a great wind. And the sky was removed as a scroll, when it is rolled up, and every mountain and island were moved out of their places. And the kings of the earth and the great men, and the thousand rulers, and the rich, and the strong, and every bondman and free man, hid themselves in the caves and in the rocks of the mountains. And they say to the mountains and to the rocks, Fall on us, and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne, and from the wrath of the Lamb." For the great day of their wrath is come, and who is able to stand?